Alright everybody, welcome back. Taylor and Zach here, playing some more Dark Souls. Oh god. What, do you, do you think, like, cause this is made by Japanese people, do you think those are supposed to be, like, anime mustaches or some shit like that? They probably didn't put much thought into the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and just terrible growths. Maybe they're sensory organs of some sort. Oh god, you never know, like, the Japanese are obsessed with penises that might be a penis. I have two penises. I wish on I had his face. I wish I had two penises. I'd break one just to be flopping around all the time. Because I, I think I mentioned that in the previous episode. I learned that if you break your dick, you just have a broken dick now. I'd like, you know, keep one taped under, you know, as a surprise. <laughs> so when they this lady is like, well, it's already in the vagina. He can't possibly go in the wrong hole now. What the fuck? <laughs> Didn't see that coming, lady. Oh, I love this guy. Onion head. Uh, oh yeah, we already talked to him. The portly right. night. So what do we do now? Where should I go first? Let's go. All right, so we got. Let's say three options. Two options right now, because no three. We can go to hell. Mm. We can, we can go fight a bunch of fucking skeletons. Actually, no, we can't do that because I don't have a holy weapon yet, and I don't want to make them watch that. Actually, well, I guess we could do that over the night. Do you want to go to hell, go to fight a bunch of fucking skeletons, or go to a fucking library with a bunch of crystal-ass monsters? Hmm. Which one is most annoying for you? <sighs> Looks like we're going to the Duke's archives. Yay! Looks like it. <laughs> All right. So I warp back to Anna Orlando. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, actually, no. We need a purging stone first. Because the... No, wait. We don't. Fuck. I'm just warping back and forth now. Uh, I was a Star Trek. <laughs> what? I never watched Star Trek, actually. I was always a Star Wars nerd. So was I, but then one day I was like, hey, this is actually pretty good, too. <laughs> I mean, that one Star Trek movie they made recently was pretty good. I liked it. Into Darkness? I didn't get to watch Into Darkness. I watched the one that has that one guy in it. The one that has the one guy. It has, like, the old and young version of Leonard Nimoy. Spock, you mean? Yeah. Which Leonard Nimoy plays the elder version of. Didn't Leonard, didn't Leonard Nimoy die recently? I don't recall. He might have... Alright, what rings am I wearing? I don't have the correct equipment right now. Well, let's see. I'm gonna need some charcoal. When I burn my enemies alive with charcoal somehow. Uh, let's get a homework bone. And some humanity to heal. Alright. So, now we unlocked this area in the last video when we put that little, that big bowl. And, uh,. So now, we have to kill three of the lords of uh, stuff. So what we do is, there's uh, four lord souls, and it unlocks the final area. The first uh, one, well, you can, you can do them in any order. The first one we're going to do is uh, Seath, the scaleless. He's a fucking dragon with no scales. And uh, he's also blind. He has no eyes. So, what? Someone needs to put him out of his misery. That just sounds <laughs> terrible. He's a scaleless, blind, immortal dragon who owns a library. It's called the Duke, Duke's Archives. And then well, we have... What's the point of owning a library if you're blind? <laughs> you can't read a thing. I'll show you a video later that points that out. Everyone go look up Dark Sauce. It's an animated series that kind of just like laughs at some of the stuff in Dark Souls. Alright, so this guy has metal armor on, and no matter what you hit him with, oh, I guess if you hit him with two hands, it doesn't. But normally, your sword just bounces off like you hit a wall after you hit him. Like that. And you have to fight him in a dark corridor, or a narrow corridor. Alright, anyway, so we have Seat the Scalus. We have Grave Lord Nito, which is a. Uh, I don't know if the word is amalgamation of skeletons, all forming one big-ass skeleton monster. 
who also has a bunch of skeletons running around fighting you. Uh, we have the Bed of Chaos, which is literally just a tree lady. But she's in hell. Hands. Yeah, well, she's in hell. That's her whole... The area is harder than the boss. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I love how it just, like, slings you up in the air, too. Just like... No, that's what Robert Oh, Baratheon. fuck you! God damn it. All right. You told you she pulled a Robert Baratheon. What? I want to drink some of this liquid while I'm fighting a boar. Oh, I'm dead. You know, I never got to watch season one, so I probably don't get that for a reason. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> uh, I do love when I watch the Game of Thrones, though. I'm very it's upset very, about the e- end of... Enjoyable. I'm very upset about the end of, I think, season five. Did you read the books? <laughs> I, I bought one, and I still haven't read it. I've had it for like a month now. Ew. Oh, have you seen the spaghetti monster or a, a beef jerky monster? No. Damn it! I wish I'd shown you. Um, here. Well, yeah, I do like beef jerky, and this is what his face normally looks like. But when he dies before I reverse hollowing like I just did, his face looks like a big sp- uh, beef jerky monster. Thankfully, I think those I think those boars stay dead after you kill them, so they're, I only have to fight one now. Shit. Uh, let's see. Grave Lord Nito. Then we have to fight the four kings, which are these big ass ghostly dudes that you literally fight while floating through space. Uh, let's see. Bed of Chaos. Grave Lord Nito. Four kings. Uh, see the skeletons, and then, well, actually, we're gonna do the DLC before we fight the four kings, because uh, there's a hidden cut scene that's really fucking sad that only happens if you beat the uh, four kings, or if you beat the DLC before you beat the four kings. Is that a fucking ice cream truck running through your neighborhood? Yes, it is. <laughs> I fucking hope it picks that up, dude. That'd be fucking perfect. Hello. It's getting louder. Oh, it drove away. Believes. Man, you know you're in the ghetto when you hear a fucking ice cream truck. <laughs> in the ghetto. A couple summers ago, uh, like, it was the first time I ever encountered an ice cream truck other than, you know, TV and movies, so I was like, oh my god, is that an ice cream truck? And I literally dove out my window with a fistful of one dollar bills to chase it down. You're shitting me, right? No, I'm not. (laughs) This is a true story. I've actually never gotten anything out of ice cream truck, because my mom, you know, we grew up in a very white neighborhood, uh, but was still poor somehow. And, uh... Like how long the one I'm in. (laughs) Right? You, You live in a white neighborhood that's just poor. But, uh... You know... So I was never allowed, like, there. we had the occasional, uh, oh, shit, I didn't know it could back kick. Fuck off. Oh. don't do that. Uh. Would be funny if he got me again while I did that. Wait, did Robert, that, is that how Robert Baratheon dies? Spoiler alert, yes, Robert Baratheon is killed by a boar whilst hunting. Is it because he was drinking while I did it? Yes. The le- I, was, I don't remember what it was, but there was a one scene I, I walked in on. It was the first time I ever experienced Game of Thrones. And it was, uh, there's these people running through a forest. There's a very, like, kind of attractive woman running. And she's, like, screaming and everything. And uh, there's dogs chasing her. Ah, uh, yes. And there's, like, this psycho dude and a psycho woman. Yeah, Ramsey and one of his ladies. That's the guy who cuts off what's-his-face's dick, isn't it? Yes. He's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, nobody really likes Ramsey. Uh, Even his father, Roost Bolton, doesn't like Ramsey. Yeah, he doesn't really seem to approve of anything he does for some reason. I, I noticed that. Ah, uh, shit. Dude, it's ten minutes into this video and I haven't done shit. <laughs> oh, I feel worthless. All right. Now. These guys are fucking annoying. They're tougher than the average enemy, so they take more hits to kill. They also hit harder, and Dusty's fucking calling me. I fucking called it. 
I told you, if I did not silence my phone, he would fucking call me. I told you, and you still didn't listen. <laughs> Alright. I'll fucking answer it, just because I'm really unprofessional. The fuck do you want, Dustin? They don't have, uh... They don't have the, uh... Alright, give me a hot dog. So, you want the hot dogs or what? Yeah, give me a hot dog. No ketchup or anything. Just a plain hot dog. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, just a plain hot dog. Two steel reserves. Indeed. Alright. You want me to catch a brain shit with this? I just said plane. <laughs> Alright, just plane? Yeah. I hope you know you're like you're on the recording now and I'm Oh motherfucker! God yeah, damn it. I don't give a shit about that, Taylor. Fucking god fucking bullshit dick motherless whore sucking a fucking dick. <laughs> Well, like, I'm glad I sent you that part of the game. <laughs> uh, I fucking hate this part of the game. Fuck you, Zach. <laughs> Dusty, you don't bring me a fucking hot dog. I swear to fucking God. Uh. Oh, also, bacon jerky face. I'm showing Zach the bacon jerky face. Okay. So you just want a hot dog, right? That's it? Yes, just a hot dog. <laughs> Just, just a hot dog with nothing on it and two steel reserves. Alright. I love you. Thank you, Dusty. Yeah, yeah. Later. Just so you guys know, we sent Dusty on an arduous journey to get hot dogs and beer on foot. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, he's none too pleased about it, even though it was originally his idea to go get things on foot. But it was okay it was just 140 for him, but when we asked him to get stuff for us too, it's suddenly a problem. Right? He was just like, oh, give me, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go get a 40. We're like, hey, get us stuff while you're there. Why don't you go with me? No. no. <laughs> because we don't feel like walking and one of us is too drunk to drive. And I don't feel like driving. <laughs> Alright. So, back to this part. God damn it, why did it pull me out of auto oh, target? God, I just... Why'd you do this to me, Zach? To watch you rise. <laughs> I guess it'll be more interesting to watch me fail than get be good at a game. Only for me. Ugh, suck a dick. Alright. Wait for these guys to come in. Not to mention you Shit. wasted two hours of my time today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. That guy just wouldn't let me off the fucking phone. I'm just like... Can you just submit the thing now? He's like, uh, well, are you interested in furthering your education? I mean, yeah, but once I have a better job, can you submit the application now? Uh, what would you like for the... Uh, uh, fucking blue font, please. Just, can you submit the application now? <laughs> well, I'm required to tell you about the education uh, uh, opportunities we provide. Fucking, I guess you're going to tell them to me anyway. Come on, let's go. And then I finally got off the phone and Zach's just like, yeah, you wasted our time and now we don't... Shit. <laughs> we don't get to go apply for jobs. Oh, fuck. I hate that these guys teleport and you can't hit them while they're in the middle of the teleport. Like, if this were any other game or if I were trying to teleport, you could totally hit me while I was trying to teleport. But because it's this game and it's an enemy, it's you can't hit them while I was trying to teleport. Ah, motherfucker! See, that's what I hate about this area, because you never know where they are. They just fucking hop out of nowhere. And they're fucking everywhere. And these guys... <laughs> they're fucking everywhere. I should imagine these crystal skeletons just in the middle of sex all over the place. And Tables, not all... the stairs. And that's the reason they're attacking you. Like, they're really pissed you interrupted their massive orgy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, these fucking guys... And see that little lot, the lines going up around them? It's because the tall guys fucking buff them, make them hit harder. I'm about to hit from behind. Oh, 
Nice blood. Right? How any how any shield could withstand the type of beating that I give a shield in this game is beyond me. <sighs> Fuck. I think I'm kind of safe for the next five seconds. We'll see if I have a ring of sacrifice. I do. He does. Oh, have, you, have I showed you fat rolls yet? Watch. Oh, I've seen. Oh, that's not a fat roll. That's a medium roll. Yeah, I've seen... Uh... See my roommate Robbie play this game a few times when he's really overloaded. He's like, <laughs> fat boy cartwheel. You know what's funny is I had this game for like a year and a half before I figured that out. I just thought certain armor made you run a certain way. I'm very bad at this game for a while. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, shit, dick, motherless whore. See? You fucking run at two of them and another one pops out behind you. That's my experience with chivalry most of the time. <laughs> I've watched you play chivalry. It's, that game would... I would definitely have to quit that game within like an hour. No! Shit! Alright. Wait, how is he not dead? Uh, I think... Yeah, this is a mimic. Have you seen mimics? Yes. You know, the only way to tell him is because of that fucking chain. No. Whew. Let's see what you gave me. Crystal Knight Shield. Alright, I don't want to use that. Good thing there weren't any of those in Legend of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Jesus, because you you opened like so many fucking chests in that game. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that what just going to be a fucking item laying there. Also, I've played this game before and I kind of had like my, my spider sense of... I think I remember this part. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> That's because I do. All right. Shit. Seventeen minutes. I am really bad at paying attention to that. You think I remember to set alarm? <laughs> oh. Up the library we go to the end of this video. Oh man. Fuck. And see y'all next time. Thank you for the indeed.